On this third day of the jam, we were anchors up at 8 a.m. for a fast sail up to Long Beach. We're here aboard Gone Surfing. We're just on our way into Long Beach now, and we're looking forward to the next couple of days of jamming. Might be one of these just up here. Pirates have now set up shop here at the Royal Lanta, continuing development on their games. There's gonna be some more beach games today, and then it's off for a big team dinner at the Fat Frog. Long Beach is great. It's really nice here to get stung by a jellyfish on my swim over here. Probably best not to uh, swim from the boat. So our pirates are now on their third day of the jam, and from what I can see, there's some pretty significant and impressive progress being made on their games. The theme of the jam is intervention, so I kind of had this idea about like a monster who's intervening against humanity. You're basically this small ball that rolls around, picking things up, devouring everything in its path. While you roll around, I want to paint the world with grass and actually have plants grow out. So you're basically like erasing away these city planets <laughs> using blueprints and Unreal Engine. I've uh, been able to get the prototype up and running pretty quickly. Overall, I am making progress with the main player character, which is really my focus. I feel like I can expand that into a full game at some point. I'm working on an FPS game called Good Guy with a Gun. It is about a mole shooting in which you happen to be armed with a gun and you return fire. Currently, I have a bit of a problem because my bullet trails look like lightning and they're not supposed to, but it is pretty cool. I'm working on a game that is just about being beautiful and exploring a space. I went for a long time not knowing what the game mechanic would be. As the game was mostly just going to be about being in a beautiful environment, having like all of that atmosphere. It'll probably be a lot more exploration of the environments around you and having puzzles and things. As you know, the beach competitions are a very big part of Pirate Jam, adding to the points that the pirates get that go towards the ultimate prizes that they can win. Before we left South Lanta, the pirates engaged in a sand castle building competition. So the rules are pretty simple. We're gonna give them a meter square, build a castle, and the waves are gonna slowly eat away at those castles, and the last flag standing wins the bottle of Sang Sum. Oh my god, you found shovels. We plundered. We plundered. We can't use a shovel. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, this dude. This has Momo. No, no. Oh, no nah, no, 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 you can't use a shovel. Yeah, it's wood you can use. We're going to follow the rules. Yeah. And we're going, we're going to have the last vertical flag. Get to your squares. Poseidon will look favorably upon our flag. It looks like one team has decided to run off way behind their square to collect dry sand. I'm not quite sure what the idea is there. To put the sand on this side of us. The last flag standing wins the day. <laughs> Renee's rogues seem to be doing the most aqua dynamic design of the lot. They've built a sort of water wing that looks like the waves can come up and wash around and go to a reservoir in the back. The other three teams seem to have gone for the juggernaut design. There's not really a lot of design thought in them. They're just mounds. And I guess the hope is that one mound lasts longer than the other. Two, one, hands off! Why would I follow the rules? I'm a pirate. It is now 7.25 and the water is coming back to test these castles. Oh, uh oh, it's cracking. The front of the volcano is cracking. This is a fair win, but at the end of the day, Evan's team and their flag is still standing while all the rest have been washed away. So, the prize goes to Evan and his team. <laughs> Our plan 
then we realized as we could just stick the, the flag right in the ground, but uh, we built <laughs> some walls around it so it would be a castle. Uh, it's going pretty good. I got a couple of characters, enemy characters running around. I have a title for the game. It's, I'm going to call it uh, The Lizard Brain. Today I'm going to focus on uh, just kind of get a little bit more structural pieces in for a little bit of uh, platforming and general gameplay stuff. The main mechanic is going to be converting lazy brain cells to motivated brain cells. So, so the mechanic is if you get a certain percentage of, of the level converted, then you kind of go through it. My game is uh, Exploitation 2049. It's a cyberpunk background game. It's a joke about two classes to uh, fight each other, the capitalists and the workers. I'm working on my game like three days, and I feel uh, maybe I designed it too complex, so I should cut some systems. We're working on sort of a roguelike game where you uh, explore a randomly generated skill tree. Yeah, I think we'd like to have done a lot more than we've done so far, under some pressure, but the idea is good. <laughs> My game is going pretty well right now. I'm working on a whole bunch of animation stuff and I've never done 2D sprite animation before. Don't really have a name yet. Uh, I think in, right now it's just Disruptor. Uh, there's something going on, uh, whether it's a hacker explosion that you need to stop or something like that, and there's a dude that comes in and has to intervene by getting through a whole hallway of enemies. It's turning out to be a lot more than I expected it to be, so I think it might be about time to reduce the scope of the game a little bit, but it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm working on a bit of a different game this time, still a bit of humor to it, but it's a 1v1 local multiplayer. I think preliminary name is Stop That Baby, uh, but Demon Baby's trying to open all sorts of portals to hell, and the dude is running around trying to stop it. One person controls the baby, one person controls the dude, uh, and they run around the map, cat and mouse style gameplay. I have been working on this for three days in the prison, AI take over or the maintenance job. There is some challenge between all the resources. The goal is make them happy and prevent the prison from chaos. Working on a game called Backseat Driver and you're trying to help the driver. They're pretty incompetent drivers. So they keep making a lot of mistakes and uh, your goal is to try and give them instructions. The first day or two were really hard because I had to actually get a car moving around by itself in a level before you can even interact or do anything. So that's been quite a lot of work in itself. This is the Pirate Beach Challenge Tug O' War. The guys who win today's contest will get a bottle of Sang Sum. We have the rabid, rapid rabbits of Renee's rascally rogues against the Jolly Rogers. I've been working on my pull-ups. I was working on my push-ups, but I think I might help the other team. Well, hopefully they won't cheat. <laughs> One, two, three. Good night! That felt so awkward. One, two, three! One, two, three! Alright, the Jolly Rogers have got it. You pass the first round, take a rest, and we're gonna bring up the other two teams. Take this train! We've got the black beards here, but it's not their beards that are looking black, it's their hands. Uh, what happened? It was a tough match. We were like um, deadlocked for a good three minutes and then they outweighted us and outclassed us and ended up pulling us over the line. Right, so we're down to the final match between the Captain Hooks and the Jolly Rogers. That last match was painful to watch. A lot of hand burns, a lot of effort going into it. This is gonna decide the winner. One, two, three. I think we made it for a while considering that they had about 300 pounds on us. Uh, wait for the counter pull, wait for them to pull and then when they relax pull. They kind of threw us off with the thing because they didn't have a regular count this time. So they kind of threw us off, but we just held in there. <laughs> so as we bring our time on Lanta to an end, our pirates have made excellent progress on their games. 
Up next, we sail to Kojum. The weather forecast predicts big winds, so we're expecting a fast sail. We're gonna see how our pirates fare out on the wild and woolly seas.